Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. We pray for Divine Retreat Center. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center Samaspi. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing, Protect your home from all afflictions, and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Entrance Antiphon Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save your servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear loving children of God, in a very special way we remember and we pray for all broken marriages and broken families and maybe from our own families or distinct families or in our relatives and friends people especially the families whom we know something is not going good with them keep them today in our personal prayer and today's holy mass brethren let us acknowledge our failures so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise. That amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts might be fixed on that place where true gladness is found through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. To turn, brothers, to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and how we shall all be gathered round him, please do not get excited too soon or alarmed by any prediction or rumor or any letter claiming to come from us, implying that the day of the Lord has already arrived. Never let anyone deceive you in this way. Through the good news that we brought God, call, we brought God called you so that you should share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand firm then, brothers, and keep the traditions that we taught you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has given us his love and through his grace such exhaustible comfort and such sure hope comfort you and strengthen you in everything good that you do or say. This is the word of the Lord. 
the responsorial psalm. Our response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. The response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. A response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. A response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. Let's stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and active. It probes the thoughts and motives of our heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrite, you who pay your tithe of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the waiter matters of the law. Justice, mercy, good faith, these you should have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, straining out nuts and swallowing camels. Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrite, you who clean the outside of cup and dish and leave the inside full of extortion and intemperance. Blind Pharisee, clean the inside of cup and dish first so that the outside may become clean as well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, a very direct message from our Lord Jesus Christ, not only to scribes and Pharisees, today when we listen to this passage, a direct teachings to all of us, all of us, the message of today, clean the inside of your cup and dish first so that outside may become clean as well. Jesus is teaching us, try to clean within yourself so that you will be radiant outside. How I, a person can clean within. The first paragraph, Jesus also mentioned three things. Justice, mercy, good faith. Keep justice. Be just to oneself and be just to the other. And then, mercy. We receive mercy from God and give mercy to everyone. And then, good faith. We know that we are born with the faith and good to die with good faith. So today, try to keep these three things, justice, mercy, good faith. So that try to clean within ourselves so that externally we look radiant. And this is maybe a little harsh Jesus' teachings at the beginning to uh, scribes and Pharisees. Alas for you, Jesus, we feel a bit harsh, but his mercy is this. Try to clean within yourself. If you are not cleaning within yourself, if you decorate outside very well, you deceive your own self. The Father the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and congregate heart, may we be accepted by your Lord and sacrifice. Wash me, Lord, cleanse me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and all the saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on all the broken marriages and broken families. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted, devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, be my merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, and mother in the blood of our work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, clear and famous words, give me always, never. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are not able to go to church today, your time of spiritual communion, you can join these prayers. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing walk of your mercy. Graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of death. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.